If you get coronavirus once, are you okay then? Or can you get it again? Kentucky Senator Rand Paul says that he has tested positive for COVID-19 and says that he's cer nearly certain that he's immune. Nobody wants to take the responsibility for saying, oh, you're 100% immune in case you catch something again. But the general rule of modern science is when you get an infection, you develop some immunity. He did test positive, that's pretty obvious there, uh, in terms of past tense. Let me bring in family physician, Dr. Jen Cottle, who is live in Philadelphia for us. Good morning. So um, we Good don't morning. know yet, do we, about immunity, whether it is a slam dunk, yes, or protected after you get it and get better? Yeah, you know, we, we don't know 100% for sure, but honestly, Robin, you know, we do think that there's going to be some sort of immunity conferred once you have coronavirus. Um, uh, we know this from other viruses that we do get that oftentimes there is immunity. It's just that this is a new virus, so we can't fully say that for 100% right now. And the other issue is that, um, it, you know, should there be immunity, which we do expect there will be some, we don't know how strong that immunity is going to be, and we don't know how long that immunity will last. So there are a lot of questions here, and honestly, uh, we really do have to wait to see 100% definitively that this will be what we expect. Yeah, that, that's the hope that we'll have right. immunity with it, and that's why right. people would do antibody tests. But Dr. Right. Cottle, let's talk about this mystery illness showing up in children. You know, experts say it's possibly related to coronavirus. So what will the parents need to look for right now? Yeah, so, you know, this is where I say for parents and caretakers out there, this is where you really need to trust your gut. Um, you know, the symptoms, let's just talk a little bit about the symptoms of this condition. Um, you know, many of the children are having persistent fever, fever that lasts longer than five days, high fever. Um, this is an inflammatory-like condition that reminds us of a condition called Kawasaki's disease. Um, it causes inflammation of the blood vessels and even blood vessels in the heart. Uh, but there are many other signs and symptoms, rash, swollen hands, uh, feet, uh, things like that, um, uh, red eyes, etc. a strawberry tongue, a red tongue. Hmm. But, but this is where I go back to parents trusting their gut. If your child just doesn't seem right, they're not acting right, they're not feeding right, they're not um, you know, using the restroom like they should, they're not thinking, functioning, behaving, you know your child, you get them medical care um, and, and certainly have them be seen. But those are some of the signs and symptoms to certainly be vigilant for. Uh, but once again, you know, this is where, where parents uh, you know, know their children best. So if something doesn't seem right, make sure that you're seeking medical care. All right, my favorite part, getting to ask the viewers questions here. Um, Jennifer oh. in Baltimore says, oh, not Jennifer, let's go to you. Claire, Claire in Tampa okay. says, we're considering widening our social circle so that um, we have a, a playmate for our child. They're thinking about adding in their neighbor. So they wanna mm -hmm. know if they can do it safely. How could they do that safely? Yeah. Let me ask that. Yeah, well, so I, I understand and you know, during this time, it's, it's tough for kids just like it is for adults. You know, kids miss their friends and they miss sort of that companionship and, and that, um, you know, that, that friendship that they've, they've come used to and for good reason. So um, there's a few things that I, I recommend. Right now, every state is in a different place. Every locale is in a different stage. So you really need to follow the guidelines of your state and local government. But I have to be honest with you, as a physician, I am conservative about this. And we know that social distancing is our best friend when it comes to fighting this virus. My personal belief is to hold off on the play dates and things of that nature right now. I say get creative, whether that's, um, you know, play dates via FaceTime or Zoom, um, other sort of interactive um, activities from a distance. Um, but once again, remembering that social distancing really is our best bet to beating this, I think we have to keep in mind and, and that's, my, that's my best suggestion. Thank you for that. Sometimes the best suggestions are the tough ones. Appreciate it so much, mm -hmm. Jen, Dr. Jennifer Cottle in, um, in Philadelphia. I had to think about where you were this morning. Thank you. <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> Thank you.